The year was 1990. The Berlin Wall had not long fallen, Nelson Mandela was released from prison, Home Alone hit cinemas, and who could forget the groundbreaking Game Boy. Meanwhile, a group with names such as Dennis Swift, Kay Collard, Neil Henderson, Keith Joyce, Wayne Stoll, Alan Garside and Richard Tate put forward an idea to form the Australian Health Services Financial Management Association. Today, we celebrate the 25th birthday of Ashma. 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 Developed to support financial professionals within the Victorian hospital sector, Ashma focuses on networking, professional development and providing opportunities. A key focus was to empower smaller and rural health organisations. And so, from humble beginnings in Cobram Baruga in May 1991, a conference was born and a plan was tabled to inaugurate the association. The constitution was established and the association was incorporated in 1992 under the presidency of Dennis Swift and the Vice Presidency of Keith Joyce. The initial five years saw the association grow strongly in membership. This was until in 1995, when Ashma fell on hard times. The board would only meet sporadically. But regardless, the newsletter remained, uniting the membership and keeping the flame alive. Dalesford, 1997. An emergency meeting is held. The association's future is unknown. The first paragraph of the 97 newsletter reads, at this stage, there is nothing to suggest the coming 12 months will be any less challenging than those that have preceded them. 1997 saw the association hold its first planning and strategy day, establishing the portfolios and objectives to hold the association in good stead for many years to come. The challenges continued and in 2000, the annual conference had an attendance of only 60 people. Accommodation had been pre-booked, placing financial pressure on the association and its board, who would use their own personal line of credit to ensure the show rolling on. As Jeff Kennett ordered cuts to hospitals and other services to mend the budgets in the early 90s, the association struggled to connect with members who were caught up in the changes. The year is 2000. Sydney hosts the Olympics and the world survives Y2K. It was decided to permanently move the annual conference to Lawn in order to raise the profile and to create consistency. The association suffered a deficit in 2000 and for this reason administration had to cease between 2000 and 2003. That certainly didn't mean there was any less printing to do and in 2000 the association broke the Northern Hospital's photocopier by overworking it leading into the conference. Fighting an uphill battle, the early 2000s required a force of volunteers to drive the conference. Although growth was limited, there was still strong support amongst members. The association needed to evolve once again. It had lost its relevance to the health industry and its value to its members. There needed to be more than just an annual conference. This required investment in staffing resources and systems, a risk required to take in order to fulfil its mission. The 2013 to 2016 strategic plan was developed. The key strategic themes within the plan includes education and professional development, research and innovation, strategic partnerships and networking opportunities, and finally, sustainability. In more recent years, the association has grown to a team of six, with the introduction of an executive officer in 2013-14. Expansion interstate began with the development of Queensland's branch and the inaugural Queensland Conference held in May 2016. Across the board, the association has grown from strength to strength. But let the numbers do the talking. Regional and rural branches have been established throughout Victoria to support our members throughout the state. The association has also begun focusing on special interest groups, 
including a payroll and an aged care group. More consistent events can be found with a breakfast series, branch meetings, aged care conference and payroll brunches. With sustainability top of mind, the association has moved to a corporate partnership model and is building strong relationships with HFMA, USA and UK. The association has launched its national awards to recognise the hard work and innovation of our members. Finally, the association expanded into e-learning in 2016 with further development on the cards. The association has come a very long way and for that we acknowledge the work of past presidents, committee and board members. Today we celebrate the association's 25 years. The future is very bright. Today, in 2016, the association is ready to embark a new chapter, one with bold new horizons. Today, it's time to shed the skin of old and transform once again. Today, we say farewell to Ashma and welcome proudly the Healthcare Financial Management Association. <laughs>